Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do a session for IBPS SO Marketing 2023 exam. Uh, the class topic is Customer Lifetime Value. But a important topic hai in 2022 uh, exam, uh, means exam, there were two questions from this topic. Even in 2020, there was a question from this topic. So let's understand what is customer lifetime value. So we'll understand the concept followed by some questions that we are going to do. Because exam mein questions hi aate hain, zyada tar numericals hi aate hain. So customer lifetime value is the profit. Profit that the company or the business make from a customer during their entire relationship. For example, aapne ek gym join kiya hai, thik hai? and you are paying a fee of 1000 rupee per month. Theak hai. And wo gym jo hai, aapne 12 months ke liye join kiya hai. So let's assume koi kharcha nahi hai additional aapke gym join karne ka, to 12000 rupee is the customer lifetime value to the gym. Aapki jo value hai as a customer, that is 12000 rupees. So this is the profit. Customer lifetime value is the profit that a business or an entity can make from its customer during their entire relationship period. Okay, company or, or entity or business or customer ke relationship period ke daran kitna profit kamaya ja sakta hai customer se that is customer's lifetime value. So let's start the session. My name is Ramandeep Singh. I've been teaching on bank exam today from last 10 years now and this is my WhatsApp number. Ask your doubts. I'm here to answer your doubts. Okay. So what is customer lifetime value? Total profit that a company or an entity can expect to generate from customer throughout their entire relationship. Okay. So how customer lifetime value is beneficial? So if you want to, let me just hide myself so that you can read the content properly. So how much money you need to invest on the marketing campaigns? Kitana paisa kharch karna ad advertisements pay? Uh, ye, uh, discount de sakte ho, afford kar sakte ho, paisa invest karna hai customer acquisition pe. Very important concept from startups point of view. So you need to limit it somewhere na, ki jo customer acquisition cost kitni honi chahiye. That can only be, you know, uh, estimated with the help of customer lifetime value concept. So CLV, uh, CLV, customer lifetime value, uh, helps a company to make decisions about how much to invest in marketing in marketing mein kitna invest karna hai marketing acquiring the customer retaining the customer mein aap kitna maximum paisa kharch kar sakte ho so what is churn rate ek important concept jo bar bar repeat hoga that is churn rate let's assume that in a gym jo, jo, jo gym aapne join kiya tha 1st of jan ko 1st of jan ko wahan pe 2023 uh, ko वहाँ पे 100 क्लाइंट से 100 लोग वहाँ पे एक्सेस लगाते थे। 31st of December को अज़ूम कर लीजिए कि वही लोग आ रहे हैं नए लोग नहीं जुड़े। तो 80 लोग रह गए, 80 पीपल आ लेफ्ट। What is the churn rate? 20 people left और 20 percent of the uh, gym members left the gym. They stopped paying for the services. So 20 percent is your churn rate 20% is your churn rate or attrition rate 80% is what 80% is retention rate 80% is retention rate 20% is churn rate very very easy uh, iska formula bhi hai lost customer divided by total customer at the start of the time period multiplied by 100 so you need to load lower down the churn rate uh, you need to compare the churn rate of your business with the competitors and you need to know why the churn rate of your business is low, why the retention rate of the competitor is high and you want to take the similar action for your business. That is churn rate and retention rate. Very important to understand. Okay. Let's move forward to the formula to calculate the customer lifetime value. Now calculate kaise karoge Puri's ki lifetime value. Average sale value in our example that was let's say 1000 rupee ka monthly subscription up there to the gym and in a year let's say there are 12 transactions what is retention period now that's interesting so we did the churn rate 1 divided by churn rate 1 divided by churn rate 
is equal to retention time period simple formula one divided by churn rate so let's say if the churn rate is 20 percent so one divided by 0.2 or one divided by two multiplied by 10 ye aapka ban gaya five years is the five years is the retention period so that is a simple formula to calculate customer lifetime value agar yahan pe retention rate diya hota let's say yahan pe retention rate diya hota 0.8 so simply one minus 0.8 nikal lenge to aapka 0.2 retention abo aa gaya churn rate aa gaya now you can easily calculate the retention time period so the cost the average sale value number of transaction multiplied by retention time period that's the simple formula uske baad agar profit margin diya hua hai to you can do that as well 40 percent agar margin hai to usko bhi multiply kar dijiye that's as simple as it is okay if Johnson & Johnson has customer retention of 90%, if customer retention ratio is given as 90%, what is the churn rate? Churn rate is 10%. If retention rate is 90%, so 1 minus 90%, right? It is 10% is a churn rate. Now you need to calculate the retention time period very easy. 1 divided by 0 0.1 is equal to 10 years. 10 years is the Aapka retention time period aa gaya. Agar complicated way mein karna hai, toh yeh explanation di hai. Screenshot le ke aap pad lo. But easy language mein yehi hai. Exam mein aap aise karo ge, toh hi safal raho ge. Otherwise, this is not the way, right way. Let's do another question. Achha question hai. What is the, aapko poore internet pe iske kuch khas questions milenge nahi. Kisi book mein zada content iske baare mein hai nahi hai. Gary Armstrong mein bhi, I guess, yeh concept nahi hai. Kotla Keller mein bhi thoda kam sa diya hua hai. Questions nahi hai, so this is the point. Isko achhe se kare. What is the customer lifetime value of a customer who spends $50 on average per month and has a monthly churn rate of 10% and gross margin is also given? So simply $50 is a spent. He spent $50. So retention rate you want to calculate 1 divided by the churn rate. 1 divided by churn rate. Simple. 1 divided by churn rate. Gross margin is given 50%. So 50% is the gross margin. Okay. So simply you can calculate that. Not very complicated at all. Okay. So you can do that easily. $250 is the correct answer here. Very easy. Not complicated at all. I hope you are able to understand this. Okay. If you want to go in depth, take the screenshot and read it. What is the customer lifetime value of a, uh, of a customer who makes five purchases in a year? You have five purchases kari hai in a year. Uh, average order value is $20. So five purchases, order value is $20. Retention rate is 80%. Churn rate kitna ho gaya? What is the churn rate here? Churn rate here is 20%. So retention period aapne nikaan laya 1 divided by 0.2. So there are multiple methods. If you make a Google search or Bing search, you will find like five, six methods to solve this question, right? And answers would be different, but this is a perfect method. Okay, I have done my research. I have gone through like six, seven books. I have gone through a lot of blogs, a lot of content, and this is the right way to solve the questions, okay? So profit margin 0.4, okay? Now solve it, you can easily solve it. So just do this, and the answer is, uh, uh, 200 I guess uh, yes it's uh, how much it is yes $200 so $200 is the answer okay so options but it is $200 okay if you want to in read in depth you can read it here yes it's 200 so this is the best method. This is the right way to solve the question. Average purchase value, number of purchase per year multiplied by average customer lifespan multiplied by profit margin. Lifespan is one simple method. One divided by churn rate. That is best way to calculate the lifespan. And this is the right way to solve the question. What is the customer lifetime value of a customer who pays monthly subscription fee of $10? Monthly churn rate of 5%. Customer acquisition cost of $50. So easy question, not very complicated at all. Okay. So $10 is the average order value. Okay. $10 is the average uh, average order value. Okay. Average order value. You got the churn rate. 
so here monthly churn rate is given first of all the retention period you average retention period average retention period you need to calculate so simply 5% is a churn rate 1 divided by 0 0.05 so you can calculate it 20 months on an average a customer pays for 20 months and subscription fees is 10 number of transactions is not given and $10 monthly subscription is given. So uh, the average customer value average customer value value here is 20 multiplied by 10. So up to 200 dollars and customer acquisition cost obviously see me say minus karaoke. So $150. Yes, $150 is what $150 is the customer's lifetime value. Okay, detail me padna just ko pad sakte hain aap. Okay. What is the customer lifetime value of a customer who buys a product with one time payment of $100? Yahan pe likha hai one time payment. Okay, clearly likha hai one time payment. So there is a one time payment of $100. That is a average I mean sale value and has a probability of 20% and has a probability of 20% and a profit margin of 30%. So probability of repurchase only 20% 20% probability of repurchase that means what 20% low keep repurchase karenge 80% kya karenge 80% attrition is there 80% churn rate is there. I know the churn rate is really high, but that's none of our business. So retention period, you you want to calculate the retention period, how to calculate the retention period, it's one divided by the churn rate. So you can easily find out uh, 1.25 is a retention period 1.25 is a retention period. So the customer value the customer uh, the customer value you want to calculate so 30% is the margin 30% is the margin the CLV you want to calculate. So that is $100 multiplied by so the retention period is there you got the retention period is there profit margin is 30% the same formula you have to use everywhere. No problem a kissy bhi jaga pe kuch alaksa use ni karna 30% is the uh, margin so $30 multiply by 1.25 you can easily calculate that 30 divided by 2 15 divided by 2 7.5 so sade cent, uh, census point uh, 25 I guess uh, 37.5 is the correct answer 37.5 dollars is the correct answer very easy question not complicated at all okay same method is there same formula has been used again and again over and over okay customer lifespan nikalne ka simple sa formula churn rate is there customer value you can found, uh, find out okay simply margin profit margin multiply kiya hai sale value se kuch complicated nahi hai dusri bar padne ki zarurat nahi padegi so CLV you need to find out the last question pause the video and try to solve this question yourself nothing complicated at all $40 on an average per visit you spend and you visit four time times okay transaction period the hour retention period is 70% if retention rate is 70% what is churn rate it is 30% okay so you can simply find it out okay the customer value is 40 uh, sale value multiply by number of transaction it's four. the lifespan is retention rate you uh, retention period you want to calculate one divided by the churn rate one divided by 0.3 referral rate so how to give effect of referral rate it's 1.1 if this percent referral rate is so that's how you need to give the effect so that's the effect referral rate has okay on the uh, the customer lifetime value so it's if it is 20 percent just add it 1.2 if it is 30% 1.3 okay that's a customer lifetime value so 160 uh, multiply by 3.33 i guess right and then it's 1.11 1. okay so do your calculations i hope you can do it uh, you can do it in your mind as well 160 multiply by 3 so just just try to do this so the answer is, it, it should be around 192 point something okay so it's 192 one something D is a correct answer. Uh, yeah, if you want to go in depth, if you want to take the screenshot, you can do it here. Okay, very easy chapter, very easy topic, but very important for the exam. Uh, every year I see one or two questions from this topic. So so please revise the important topics. Tomorrow we are going to do digital marketing topics. 
and IBPS SO marketing course. If you if you like the today's session, you will love the course. We are providing video classes, the notes, quizzes, test series, power capsules, live sessions, and an interview preparation guidance in our course. Link to join the course is available in the description, or you can directly go to bankexamstudy.com, or you can drop a WhatsApp message to us, and we are going to answer you. And uh, list of our su uh, successful students, all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked the respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. And that's all for today's students. Thank you and have a very nice day.